Go ahead. Halloween, so-called Christmas. Easter. Easter, which all goes back to the ancient Babylonians. Yep. Which all goes back to um, the sun god Ra. And by the way, going back to the uh, uh, the obelisk or the Washington Monument and the worship of the sun, the uh, ancient uh, Egyptian word for sun is Ra. Sun worship. Because they worship the sun. I read on. As for that night, let darkness seize upon it. Let it not be joined unto the days of the year. Let it not oh, come. What? Let it not be joined unto the days of the year. Because, oh, wait a minute. Your birthday's coming up next week. You make it one of the special days of that year. Go ahead. This is, um, Satan's Angels Exposed. It says, um, it says, why? Because national leaders believe the sun offers man's last hope of survival in a day of depleting energy. The sun is man's last hope for life on this earth. Many turn to the sun in awed worship. The worship of the sun is not new. Over 3,000 years ago, the Egyptians worshipped the sun. While the Babylonians called the sun Utu, the Egyptians called it Ra. Now, uh, now stop right there. Now, if these so-called uh, leaders, these presidents, are supposed to all be... Uh, Christians and, and uh, worship the Most High. Why don't they trust in the Most High to save them? Why are they worshiping the sun? Why? They, why is their last hope to to believe in the sun that the sun will save them? That's why the brother read earlier in the book of Deuteronomy about the worship of sun. Let's read that again. Get that again. Deuteronomy four nineteen. Deuteronomy four verse nineteen. At least thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven. And when thou seest the sun, and the moon, and the stars, even all the hosts of heaven, shouldest be driven to worship them, and serve them, which the Lord thy God hath divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. It says all nations, so all nations are supposed to worship the Most High. And that's going to happen in our kingdom. There is going to be a one world order. <coughs> there is going to be a NWO. And we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna control and run and have authority over you in the new world order. Mm -hmm. And that order is gonna be under the authority of your how by show me how shy and you so-called white people. I'm gonna use this word. Now brace yourself. You're going into slavery. You're not just gonna die. You're going into slavery. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. This is Daniel's <clears throat> chapter seven, verse twenty-seven. And the, and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. Read again and read it with authority, brother. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven. This is beautiful, man. Like I was telling these brothers when we were coming down here, we were listening to an uh, 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 ancient prophet, or uh, meditating on an ancient prophet, I'll say. And the way he would speak and the way he believed in what he was saying. <clears throat> That's why the Pharisees, scribes and Pharisees looked at Yahweh Shai and said, he, speak, he doesn't speak like us, like them. And they were, said that he speaks with great authority. Meaning, when you speak with great authority, that means you know what you're talking about and you truly believe in what you're talking <clears throat> about based on the way you're saying it based on the way you're bringing it out. And that's how I feel right now. See, the average Joe nigger, ah, look at them crazy niggas. Well, let me get ready to go to church tomorrow morning. And what are you doing in these damn churches which are gonna be burnt down? That's right. Oh. Along with this whole so-called country, mm -hmm. America's gonna be destroyed, burnt down, smoke dead, gone. In the near future, in the near future. Um, oh, go ahead, finish reading that. Read that again. Daniel 7 and 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. Who are the saints of the Most High? Brother, give me the scripture on the saints of the Most High. <clears throat> you should know where it is. Daniel. 
verse in Psalms. The key scripture. There's more. There's a lot of scriptures on it, but the key. Psalms 148 and 14. Start from the 13th verse. Okay. Start from says, the 13th. Go ahead. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone. Let them. Them. Go ahead. For his name alone is excellent. And you don't even know the name of the Lord. But we've been saying the name, but you better not use that name. <laughs> Ashcroft doesn't know the name. Go ahead. His glory is above the heaven and, and the and earth. He, and he's black, by the way. Go ahead. He also exalted the horn of his people. Horn represents power. Go ahead. The praise of all his saints. The praise of all his saints. Even of the children of Israel. Even of the children of Israel. Is Ashcroft one of the children of Israel? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Thank you. Is Bush one of the children of Israel? Hell no. Even though they married into the Israelites, that doesn't make them Israel. Devils. Like his brother Zeb Judah, they were they slated him to be the next president. But he was involved in that uh, SNL scandal years, uh, going years back. What was it? Uh, 20 years ago? Uh, maybe 15 years ago. What he did was he married a damn simple ass Issacharite woman and had a son. And his son looks just like an Issacharite, a Puerto Rican, a so called Negro. But he's a tear. He's a so called white man. Yeah, for you dummies. All right, go ahead. Is there, is there more to that? Oh, no, that's okay, it. Okay, that was the key point. Let's go back to Daniel. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. Which are, we just proved who they were, Israel, the Israelites. Go ahead. Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominions shall serve and obey him. All dominions, including the white boys down there. Pan on them white boys down there. Yes, I'm okay. Psalms 2 and 8. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. In other words, that's going to be our, our presence. We're going to get the heathen, the other nations, are as our, we're going to own the other nations. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? Beautiful. That's beautiful. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. And the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. We're going to possess the whole planet earth. Is that it? No, it's a little bit more. Go ahead. Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron. Hold up, we're going to get physical? Read that. No, no, that's, maybe you're reading from the Quran, brother. Give me another scripture. That's, that, that Bible been tampered with. I think it's been tampered with. Give me that. What, what scripture was that? Psalms 2 and 9. That's in the, wait a minute, that's in the Psalms. Black women, especially old black women, they love to read the Psalms. I thought the Psalms was all about love. I thought it was all about peace. I thought it was all about passing out lilies and dove flying around. Read, let's read that. This is Revelations but chapter you old 2. Black woman at home. Go ahead. <laughs> Revelations 2 and 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. It's not talking about the most high. <clears throat> this is the most high talking. In other words, this is the psalmist, but the most high is speaking through the psalmist. I'm speaking about a prophecy for the nation of Israel. Go ahead. To him will I give power over the nations. To him. Now who's that him? Well, y'all, don't put that in there. That's talking about the Lord. That's talking about Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. It might be. It might be talking about Jesus Christ because he's gonna he's gonna get the inheritance, right? But who else is gonna get the inheritance besides Jesus Christ? Somebody give me Romans the eighth chapter. I believe it's around the sixteenth verse. So you can't get around this. You can't get around this. Right, 2, 20, uh, 25. Romans 8 and 17. And if children, then heirs. I'm sorry, start from 15. Uh -huh. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. In other words, we we're, in bond we're in bondage to this day. Ash Ashcroft is not in bondage. Bush is not in bondage. Clinton is not in bondage. Go ahead. But ye have received the spirit of adoption. We're about adoption. We're going to be adopted back. The Father's going to adopt us back. Take us back in through 
his media, which is his son, which we are also sons, 